In this video, I'm going to show you how to load and sync Loop Cloud 2.0 with Ableton Live. This is the Loop Cloud application in this window here. There's a Loop Cloud VST that syncs this application with any DAW. I'm inside of Ableton Live, inside of my plugins folder, and I'm going to type Loop Cloud. Here it is. I'm going to drop it on its own channel. And this is the Loop Cloud VST. All it does is shows you the VU meters here. But if I jump back into the Loop Cloud application, you can now see down here it says connected to Ableton Live. Now that means the BPM is going to be automatically synced to the tempo. As you can see here inside of Ableton Live, it's 115. And here it is 115 inside of the application. So any of the loops and samples you play will now be fixed at that tempo. Now you can still change them. You can two times them or half time them using the controls here, but if you just leave it as is, it will be synced to your project's tempo. And that's the same with the patterns. Any patterns that you choose for your one shots will be played back at the tempo of your project inside of the DAW. Now, not only that, but you can process the audio from the Loop Cloud app before you make a purchase or download the high quality version. So here is the Loop Cloud app. If I come into my audio effects, drop the EQ8 on it, go back into the Loop Cloud app and play this drum sample. I can now change the BPM of that sample and I can also EQ it any way I want. So, and obviously you can drop any of your third party effects onto the channel as well and everything will be synced and good to go. So that's how you sync up Loop Cloud 2.0 inside of Ableton Live, and it's a very similar process in all other major DAWs.